What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate on Microsoft Teams, and we're going to look at the action which is Post a Message V3. Post a Message is exactly what it sounds like, it allows you to post a message to a specific team and a specific channel in your Microsoft Teams. So let's take a look at it today. I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow just used for triggering my flow. We don't need any other information. And then click on new step. Go to Microsoft Teams, then scroll down and slide out to post a message V3 preview. From here, I'm asked for three required parameters. I'm asked for the team, the channel, and the message. So the team, I'm going to choose from my list here. I've got my MCJ demo team. That's the one we're going to be using today. Next, the channel. I only have a single channel inside that team. It's just the general channel, the one that gets created when you create a team. So we'll choose that. And then we have this message. So we can format this. So we can change the, the font. We can change the size. And we can say, yo, how is everyone today? And we can, you know, we can make things bold, underline them, we can add lists in, we can add links in, and we can actually view the HTML coding that is that is going to be displayed in Microsoft Teams. We can add in dynamic content, we can add in um, expressions and things like that. We can do whatever we want into this message and have that displayed in there. Um, it's just what we're going to be posting to the team. Clicking on Show Advanced Options, I do also have this ability to put a subject in. So I could say uh, in the subject, uh, flow triggered message. And that'll go in the subject. So let's test this out. Let's click on Test. I'll perform the trigger action. We'll save and test. We'll run the flow. We'll click on Done. That'll run. We've got green ticks here. We'll get a green bar here in a second. There we go, and we can switch over to our Microsoft Teams, go to our team, go to our general, and we can see this, flow triggered message, yo, how is everyone doing today? So there we have it, that is the message that we triggered in flow, and we can see this in here, we can trigger with a flow, and we can see this here, and we can do all the usual things, we can like it, and we can reply to it, etc, um, I'm good. Um, you know, you may want to do um, do certain things with this. So in terms of what you could use this for, you could use this for, say you have a sales team that all work in the same Microsoft team. Uh, when a big sale comes in, you may want to celebrate it. So you may have a rule that says, you know, once you get an order that is over a certain amount, post a message to the team to congratulate the team uh, and say, hey, job well done, you know, pat yourself on the back for that. Or you may have like a customer service team that use Teams and, you know, if something is about to breach SLA, it sends a message to the team like, hey, guys, you're not looking at the queue. Here's a message to say, go look at this case now. We're about to miss SLA. Um, or all, all the sorts of actions um, and, and scenarios. So those are a couple of mine. Let me know a couple of yours in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button, stay up to date with all my recent videos, and I'll see you next time.